Hello everybody, this is Kaizen here and welcome to another two-tick tutorial. As you can see behind me, we are on the Kaizen Craft server today. That is my server that I play on with my patrons and for more information on that, you can check out the link in the description. But for now, we're going to move on. We're talking about the Permissions X plugin and how to use some basic commands on that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to download that Permissions X plugin and make sure it's in your plugins folder. Now, I will include a download link in the description for this video if you can't find it. So once it's in the plugins folder, you want to make sure that the plugin is working and is being recognized by your server. The best way to do that is to log on like I have now and to go into chat and just type in slash PL, which stands for plugin list or plugins, however you want to think about it. And these are the plugins that I run on this server. And you'll see here Permissions X has been listed as one of them. If you see that, you know that Permissions X is working and you're good to go. So the first thing you're going to want to do is add yourself as the owner of the server or admin or whatever it is that you are so that you can use the permissions X commands in game. Now the way that you do that is you go to your console and you type in the following slash pex user and then your name. So in my case, that's Kaizen add. It's as simple as that. Now, if you've done that correctly, once you get back into the game and you type in slash pex, you will see all of these wonderful commands coming up here. Now, this is a little bit daunting, I can understand that, but that's why today we're going to break it down into the basic commands, how to use them, and how to get started with this plugin. Okay, so once you've got your PEX plugin up and running, perhaps one of the first things you're going to want to do is to create different groups to put players into. Now, you might want to do this because they're staff or they're donators or something, but whatever the reason, it's a great uh, feature of the Permissions X plugin, and here's how to get started on doing that. Now, as you see, I've got Shadow Bunny here with me. He's going to help me out. This is my uh, alt account that I use for testing and such. Now, at the moment, Shadow Bunny is just a default player on the server, which if I go over to the Shadow Bunny Minecraft, I can show you if I type something into chat, just like that, type in hi, as I've done a couple of times, you'll see there that I am just a default player. Now, if I create a group and put Shadow Bunny into that group, <laughs> and Penguin saying hi back, um, then I can obviously uh, give that group different permissions and such. So if we want to create a new group, the way to do that is to do slash pex, which is obviously the prefix for all of the permissions X commands. Then we want to go group, and then the group name, so for example, we might want staff and then create. Now, once we've done that, you'll see there in chat, it says group staff created. Now, the next thing you might want to do is obviously to add people to this group. So in this case, it'll be shadow bunny. So again, slash pecs, and then this time user, and then shad, o bunny, um, and then group set, and then staff, the name of the group. And again, you'll see it comes up in chat saying user group set. Now, at the moment, that group doesn't have any permissions or prefixes or anything like that. So we wouldn't really know that Shadow Bunny was in there. So in order to test this and see if Shadow Bunny has been correctly added to that group, what we can do next is go slash pecs and then group, staff, and prefix. So this is the way that we choose what prefix we want. So you start by doing a quotation mark, and then if I want it to say staff, I would put in, if I can spell it correctly, staff like that, close the quotation mark, press enter, and you'll see again it comes in chat saying staff prefix has been set to staff. And because Shadow Bunny has been added to that group, uh, he will come up in chat as a staff member. So if I switch again to Shadow Bunny, type something else in, test, you'll see it says staff Shadow Bunny. Now that's all very well, but there are a lot more things you can do that you'd probably rather do. For example, you may not want to say staff Shadow Bunny as all one word. So if you get the command back, it's a very simple fix. All we do after the staff is we add a space and then put the quotation marks back in but you may want to take this a little bit further and give Shadow Bunny a color to go with his staff name. So for example, we might want to do the color green, which is an A. Now, as far as these colors go, they all have different prefixes and they are a little bit complicated, but basically I'll put the link in the description where you can go and see what the prefixes are for different colors and different effects, such as making bold letters or underline letters or whatever you want to do. But if we do that, the prefix will now have been changed. And now when I go back to Shadow Bunny and I type in test once more, you'll see it comes up staff space shadow bunny and it's all in green. So that's a very simple way of creating a group, putting a player into that group, and of course defining the group by color and perhaps a prefix in terms of the word staff. And you can add any prefix that you want. And there's a whole range of different colors and effects that you can do with the chat as well. Okay, so once you've got your group created, probably the next thing you want to do is to add some permissions to it so that they can do different commands and things in game. So if I show you right now with uh, Shadow Bunny, if I do slash set home, it will not allow me to do that because I do not have access to that command. So if I go back to my admin user, which of course in this case is Kaizen, the command that I need to type in is as follows. Slash pex group, then the group name, which in this case is of course staff, and then add, and now the permission name. Now I need to add a few permissions here to give Shadow Bunny the full range of the set home plugin. 
So the first one I'll do is essentials, if I can spell essentials correctly, dot home. Now, the plugins that you add, and you'll see once it's been done correctly, it will come up in the chat saying here, permission, permission name has been added to group staff. Now, this plugin command is, uh, this is the permission essentials.home, essentials.sethome, and finally essentials.delhome. Now, there is also another one where you can do essentials.sethome.multiple if you want players to have more than one home. As far as getting the permission, so knowing what to write in after the word add, that will depend on the plugin. So this is the essentials plugin and then the home uh, command which is a part of that plugin. But depending on what you're trying to add, you'll need to go to your plugin uh, information website and get the permission that's relevant to what you're trying to do. But if I go back to Shadow Bunny, you'll see now that when I do t slash home, or set home I should say, and let's call this one home one, if I do that, the home has been set to current position. And if I run away from there and then do slash home, I will be transported back to there. So that's how you add the uh, basic commands. Um, and that's how you do it in-game. There is, of course, a way of doing it in your config folders. But today I'm just focusing on how you do it in-game. And, of course, like I said, you can do this with any command for the plugins, but you just need to get the correct permission uh, to put in after the word add. So as well as adding a user to a group, you may want to remove a user from a group or change them from one group to a different group. So the way that you do that is to type in slash pex user and then the username. So in this case, we'll use Shadow Bunny again. Then group and then set and the different group that you want to put them into. So if you put default, that will just put them into the same group that everybody gets added to. And when I do that, you'll see the user group has been set. And if I go back to the Shadow Bunny account and I type something into chat like this, my name is now back to green, uh, back to white, sorry, from green because I've been added back to the default group rather than the group that has the green name and those permissions. So it's a very simple way of just either removing someone from a group to default, or if I wanted to change it and I had another group, um, so if I was to change this command slightly, in instead of putting their group as default, uh, they might not be staff, they might be donor, if I had a donor group, you just do that and it moves them from the group they were in to the new group name that you put at the end there. Well guys, that's about it for today. That was just a very quick tutorial on how to use the basic commands of the Permissions X plugin in game. So hopefully that's enough to get you started. If you would like to know more about Permissions X, um, you can always ask me and I'll be happy to give that information. And if there's a lot of people that want to know more, I'd be happy to do a more in-depth tutorial on that. If you'd like to see the configs or whatever, please let me know and I will accommodate what I can. And of course, you can check out the Permissions X page, which will be in the link of this video description. But that's all for now, guys. So as always, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.